What up boys and welcome back to another solo steady gold farm video. So in this video we're gonna do another solo steady gold farm and uh, if you guys have missed out on any of these videos or you don't know what the series is about it's basically just me making like a video every single day or uploading a video every single day of a farm that you guys can do solo that's steady so you guys can actually see some return before classic comes out so we're not focusing on any like battle pets or trans smokes because they take longer to sell we're solely focusing on uh well mostly materials all sorts of materials some are not profession based and some are profession based some have been uploaded by me in the past but some of them are like years and years old and they're either forgotten about or has a drastic change in gold per hour and there's a lot of people who are new to my channel who haven't seen me uh, upload these videos or missed the videos and aren't aware of the farm. So if you guys have missed out on any of these videos that I've uploaded, then there's going to be a playlist pinned at the comment section down below so you guys can go, go click it. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because as I said, these videos will be uploaded almost daily so you don't want to miss out. Because once they go live, there's probably going to be a bunch of people doing it and you want to tag along and sell it before the prices go down. So in today's video, we got one that I've done uh, a lot of actually. I've done a hundred runs of uh, this specific raid, which is Molten Core. And the steady gold in Molten Core comes from mining and killing the Molten Giant. So the items we're looking for, the materials we're looking for is blood of the mountain and dark iron ore now blood of the mountain can be obtained by killing these molten giants and from mining the dark iron ore and the dark iron ore is definitely what's going to make you the most gold you're going to average 500 per uh, per hour per 10 runs and um they have a market value of 50 gold each so that's like to 25,000 gold right averagely per hour doing molten core mining however since you're um since you got mining and you can actually mine the dark iron ore you can also melt it into dark iron bar which has a way higher market value 700 gold so uh, in one hour 500 dark iron ore plus minus is going to result in like 60 ish dark iron bars in my case 62 and uh, that is a market value of almost 44,000 gold However, like you guys can see that my uh, on my realm it's 21,700 gold instead of 43,700 gold. I played a super hype up realm though. And then you get some uh, Blood of the Mountain which has a market value of 5k. So we're looking at like market value 50,000 gold an hour. Then then if you just cut that in half, right, like 25,000 gold an hour is still really, really steady gold. So in terms of routes, there's really nothing specific to go through. I mean, I featured Molten Cora in a video uh, before. You basically just follow the entire raid as it's meant to be run when you're uh, doing Molten Core. And uh, the only thing you got to keep in mind is that you don't want to kill any bosses, right? If you kill a boss or an ad connected to a boss, you will be locked out because you're supposed to run through the entire raid. And instead of going down to Raggy, like after you uh, end the run at Gold Mag, you just pour it out and run back in like a reset. But you can't do that if you kill any of the bosses because then you're going to be saved until uh, the next reset day. So just run through the raid like you would if you were to run it in Classic. And just kill all the uh, the molten giants and mine all the uh, dark iron ore. And I just uh, skip all the other mobs. It's not worth it. Like time uh, efficiency is really important. This one you don't want to waste a lot of time just killing these random trash mobs. So at least that's what I do. I just go for the molten giants and go for the uh, the ore. And I get out to reset. Rinse and repeat. Super, super easy farm. And uh, the materials that you're farming for, both the blood of the mountain and the dark iron bar, is in great demand. Like the dark iron items are selling extremely fast. I personally sell a lot of them. So I don't sell the dark iron bars. I use them for crafting. But there's a lot of need of these uh, people buy them. And uh, usually the crafting cost uh, isn't bad compared to how much you can sell the dark iron items for. So they sell extremely, extremely good. But that was also it for today's solo steady farm. So if you guys enjoyed the video and you're hyped for more videos like this one, remember that I will upload uh, roughly daily with a new solo steady gold farm video. So make sure to subscribe. 
so you can get the uh, the new farm as fast as possible. But until then, bye bye.